Welcome to Cheese, a Healthy Fruit, a podcast where two sisters reminisce on growing up in rural Wisconsin. I'm Sidel. And I'm Jade. I can't find the button. It's probably dead. Uh, no. This is um, making my day. <laughs> Aww. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. We're back again. Where the hell have we been? (laughs) I know where I've been. I don't know where you've been. Where have you been? (laughs) I actually don't know where I've been. Yeah. To be honest, when did we last record? A year ago. Oh, one whole year ago? (laughs) Okay, well, a lot has happened in a year. Yeah. (laughs) I also haven't heard that last recording, so... True. True. To you all, we have re- released two episodes before this, but we definitely took like a pause from our hiatus for two days, and then we went back. <laughs> Correct. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then we didn't. We didn't release them because we were. I think we were going to try to bank episodes, but anyway, we won't bore we d- you we with our lives two. again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's. So good. <laughs> <laughs> really a weight off my back. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> I know our lovely editor. <laughs> I understand. Here we are again. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> again. It's good to be back. Why does that not meet your eyes when you say that? What? You look... It's good to be back. It's good to be back. <laughs> Well, you should have seen my, did you notice, did you see my eyes when I was doing the intro? It went from, ah, to, uh. It's because I reached for the Build-A-Bear uh, lightsaber. Yeah. I don't know if y'all could hear it, but it was definitely. <laughs> That's my favorite thing, to be honest with you. I built, like, an emotional support bunny, and then I saw that they had lightsabers, and I got one for Ooh. my emotional support bunny. <laughs> And then you put it in the studio and kept it there Correct. and just left it there. Yeah. Correct. That's, it's its new home now. Okay. It lives here. For anyway. me to annoy you with. Anyway, this is a podcast where we talk about ourselves and Wisconsin. And yeah. So, shall we get into it? Yeah. Well, I'm going to talk about myself today. Shocker. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a I'm in a feisty mood today. We are here to hear all about me and my life. She's uh, a Gemini, folks. Mm-hmm. Actually, as we're recording this, it is Taurus season, oh. so we're getting we're getting to we're almost there, folks. She says, "Just wait, there's more." We're almost there. Dad and I have been tracking our steps and like doing challenges, and they're stuff. both Gemini's together and i'm thinking of making a challenge on samsung health for us for like the 15th of mm-hmm. may through the 20th mm-hmm. like walk into gemini season oh my god <laughs> <laughs> of course well and you guys are the only ones who participate so it's fine <laughs> yeah yeah you could but you choose not to i don't know my password for samsung health password yeah, when you get a new you get a new phone, it wants you to log back in. I didn't. I don't remember that part of it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm sure you can reset it. Yeah, it's not that hard. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about my acting career. Oh goody. Oh goody. I mean, honestly, there's a lot of key parts of your personality that you've taken from the roles that you've played, so <laughs> starting uh, in middle school. <laughs> I am currently in a play. We had our first batch of shows last weekend, and we're going to have our next batch, batch of shows next weekend. At the this end of Taurus season. What I'm saying is is false, because well, yeah. it was definitely two weekends ago that I had my 
first one. We are taking a very interesting two-week break, but that's because of this play is a spring play that happens at the same time as the high school spring musical. And so last year we had a conflict where we were performing on the same day as them and we have the same audience. So (laughs) people don't want to go to two plays in one weekend. So we were like, yeah. Can't get can't get back the ticket sales for that. So yeah. we we took a two week break, which is going to be interesting. Wonder how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We have a practice tomorrow, so we'll see <laughs> if we you guys remember haven't practiced anything. since the first weekend. No. Oh, okay. No. Why would we? It just it doesn't really make sense to like practice every day. Usually, well, you know. take a break between. If you have two separate weekends, usually you just go dark between them. And there may be, maybe like, one practice that's, like, voluntary. I'm not team. an actor. <sighs> so that's... That to is, make it clear. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything about this. So that's the, the rules of the theater world for you. You're welcome. So I got into the theater world when I was eight. Mm-hmm. I was in daycare and one of our our cook lady she acted at the community theater in town and so she learned that there was they were doing a children's musical all children it was like the first all children's musical that they ever did the first and last all children's musical (laughs) in the area (laughs) Well, not true. Not true. It was not. That is completely false. Okay. That statement is false on both. No, I just because thought there is there is a elementary musical. Oh, I forgot about that. There's an elementary. It's not musical? on my list. I did it one year. It was. Oh, you mean the third grade one? No. Oh, there's a fourth and fifth grade one that is across elementary schools. Oh. And they perform at the high school. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I did it one year. I didn't do it in fourth grade. I did it in fifth grade. And I then, and don't then, act. And then there is also a middle school one. Anyway. I knew that one. So, you want to know what the musical was? Yes. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I was... Flower number three. I was no, I mm. no, I was just ensemble. Yeah, <laughs> but I do. I did. My director liked my shirt that I chose. Oh my god, was it the zebra one? It, you are correct. <gasps> I love that one. It was a pink sequins zebra stripe. Or are you talking about the rainbow zebra one? That one's different. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking about the one you got from Hot Topic. No, that one is a great shirt. Oh, no, it was Spencer's. Was it Spencer's? I Mm -hmm. thought it was Hot Topic. I think it was Spencer's. Hmm. Maybe it was Hot Topic. It was at the Mall of America. I don't know those stores. It was, I know, I know it was like. From like 20 years ago. I was shook that mom let me buy it. How do we even get in that store? Not a clue. Because she didn't like going to either of those doors. I think you literally saw this shirt on the wall. I and went, probably actually it was probably in the I window. I need this. It was probably in the window. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I think that was the year I got cowboy boots. Oh, nice. So nice. they were like, well, I guess we got to get her something new. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember going to the Mall of America when I was like in middle school. And it was like, it was a science club trip. And we, I like was at Hot Topic and I like bought some things and then they were like, do you want to sign up for our like rewards? And I'm like, no, my mom never lets me come here. (laughs) (laughs) And you know what? You know what she said? Hmm. Well, your mom's not here. (laughs) Are you always with your mom? (laughs) Like this is... (laughs) You're a middle schooler. Yeah, but but the most like the Peak best, salesmanship, the best way to market mm-hmm. to an alt teen. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was From a teen. A I guess conservative small town. <laughs> yeah, you're like 
I'm not always with my mom. You have a good point. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did get it, and I did. I mean, I used. I used like you know the things that I would get mm-hmm. for it. So whatever, it was good. You got so many flyers in the mail. I you did. <laughs> I got the app. Now? No, I don't. No, I don't use it now. But I had the app. I had the Hot Topic app in middle school. No, in like high school. Oh, okay. I was like, girl, we didn't get smartphones till I was in my senior year. Yes, when I was in high school. And I bought our shirts. Remember those shirts that we got the the Hogwarts houses? And they were supposed to be the same, but they were very different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were like muscle shirts. And one of them had yeah. really low cut. And yours, the other... Yeah, yours, your Hufflepuff one was short. And like, it looked like the picture. Yours looked like the picture. Yeah. A regular length shirt that mm-hmm. ends at your hips. And it was cut. The sleeves were cut off. Mm-hmm. And then mine was just super long, and the sleeves were cut, <laughs> like, all the way down my yeah. torso. Oh, yeah. It was, it like, was a Ravenclaw one. I'm how like, why a Jim were they so would different? wear one. Yeah, why were they so different? Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. I'm actually a Slytherin. To this. Yeah. Very different. Anyway, Hufflepuff and Slytherin. Uh, they're pretty different. But, well, y- yeah, but... <laughs> If you're looking at the American version, I would be a Pukwudgie. A great for you. Do you know now, what a Pukwudgie is? I know what a Pukwudgie oh. is. <laughs> <laughs> like, are they in the Midwest? No. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck Pennsylvania, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Pennsylvania is not in the Midwest. Okay, well, they border Midwest states. They do. Okay, continue. I do not claim Pennsylvania. <laughs> we are. We are actually part, part Pennsylvania Dutch, though. We are. Yes. Don't you remember our uncle did a DNA test and he was like, where did this Pennsylvania Dutch come from? And dad was like, don't you remember our grandma who Ooh. always wore like <laughs> Amish attire? <laughs> <laughs> She was no, I don't Dutch. remember that, but that's so fucking funny. <laughs> He's like, huh? I wonder where this came from. <laughs> and Dad's like, um, you literally knew this person in real life. <laughs> anyway, I had a sparkly shirt. It was like pink. It was well, it was it was like sequins Mm -hmm. it was pink zebra sequins and we were supposed to like be the color the set was painted black because i guess like (sighs) yeah because it was supposed to be like trippy yeah i guess got that psychedelic i don't really know how effective it really was but i yeah i don't i can't tell you but i mean i was 12 our, our yeah our director was like you're gonna be the color you are all gonna be the set Mm-hmm. You are going to make Wonderland come to life. <laughs> That's a lot to put on elementary school students. Yes. But I had the right shirt for it. So she was like, everybody, when you're finding your shirts, get one that looks like Sadell's. <laughs> and I was like, woohoo. And you went, I got it from Jazz I did, Death. I did something, probably. <laughs> it looks it looks directly from Justice. So. Oh, yeah. For sure, for sure. Probably. And then I remember I would sit on the bus and, like, just, like, twist my torso around because when the sun would shine in, it would, like, reflect <sighs> and it'd be, like, all over the seats and the ceiling and... Turned right. yourself into a disco ball on the bus. <laughs> disco ball. You're like, ooh, shiny. It was very entertaining. <laughs> just eight-year-old thing. I also made, like, signs for, like, the, the like, court case but whatever we also like couldn't we didn't sell a section of seats because we went and sat in them during the musical what weren't you guys like in the do? black box though there's like no backstage no that we was for a scene there was enough space backstage for us but like i don't really remember like there really being a problem with space I don't there know how many a, people were in that musical. There was a lot of fucking kids there in that musical. There were a musical. lot of people, yeah. It was a very fun time. We would walk together from the middle school to the Did they get you theater. off the bus and then take you there? Yeah, I think, I I think like, 
I think we had a few middle schoolers who were in charge of collecting all of us and then walking us down oh so that God. we so that we weren't a bunch of kids like going walking alone. 2010 was a wild time. Yeah. <laughs> they said, "I know what will keep these children protected." More children. Well, I mean... A Slightly group, taller children. <laughs> a, group, a group of kids is better than one kid walking oh, by themselves. So, yeah. So. But also, having a bus that takes you there is better... True. ...in general than just having middle schoolers guide small children... Honestly, and then, across like... ...across the, the main traffic. And our director was, like, a middle school teacher. Like, she could have... <laughs> Probably pulled she, that off. Yeah, she also could have just walked you guys from the middle school True. herself. I don't remember. I don't remember her being there in the walking party. But I don't oh know. yeah, she probably drove. She probably drove. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> she's probably like, "Fuck them kids, I'm driving." <laughs> fuck them kids and fuck you too. <laughs> All right, now we have g- completed. <laughs> one my second play was our third grade class put on a a production of annie and i played pepper and i remember i was salt (laughs) that's so funny (laughs) i loved like stepping on all the other girls it was very fun that was most of what i did he said i am going to impersonate the bully Mm-hmm. So well. <laughs> I am full method <laughs> and I'm ready. Maybe this is the beginning of my villain era. <laughs> Actually, it might be. Yeah. Anyway, Ooh. then I I had a boy in the class though who then actually bullied me. He would be like, You're a vegetable, you're a vegetable, you're a vegetable. <laughs> I went with spice. He's not very uh, creative. He could have called you a spice girl. Uh, yeah, but did he know anything about spice girls? I don't know. He was in third grade, so probably not. Yeah. And it was also 2000. How old were you in third grade? It would have been like 2011. Okay. In like the next year. Yeah. Yeah, because it was second grade when I did the. Right? I believe you. Correct. Mm. All right. Yes. No? Yes. 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 Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> and then I did a middle school. I did I did a I did do a fourth and fifth grade musical. It clearly was not that memorable. It oh, was, okay. I was like, it's not on your list. I know. It was kind of funky. I don't remember. It had it had too much like had too much of a message. It was it was, it was one of those that hard. wasn't actually a musical. Like something that like one of the teachers made. No, it oh, okay. I think it was a real musical, but it just was kind of boring. I feel I feel like it was about inclusivity, Boo. but it was it was not it's not great. I feel like we held hand, hands at the end, you know. Uh, Don't you normally was, hold hands of, at the end? True. When you but, bow, <laughs> I know, but it was part of the dance. Oh, or something. I feel like we we probably did like a one of the things where you like. You like put the other person's arm over your head. Or I, I'm really enjoying this um, visual <laughs> explanation on our audio medium. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shampoo, but with a an- with a partner. Yes, but with yes. somebody's hand in your hand. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it was not that memorable. <laughs> Except for shampooing with everyone. <laughs> and then I did the middle school musical, mm-hmm. and in sixth grade. Our musical was Fame Junior. Oh my god, I remember that one. Mm-hmm. That and was fucking wild. Looking oh, back as good. an adult, what <laughs> Fame is Fame not a musical. Middle school. Yeah, yeah, middle schoolers. True. True. It was fun though. I mean, it was a little bit accurate with the casting though. True. <laughs> <laughs> They had the, they had they had the talent for it. Yep. They had the real world experience in some cases. Yep. Our Tyrone was white though. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, it's not much flavor in that vanilla salad. 
True. So, some highlights from that. I almost backed out of it. Did because, you? Because, yeah, because I was a, a band student. Oh. Because they're split into band, dance, and <laughs> acting. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> acting. <laughs> I think is what it is. That was very interesting <laughs> to watch. <laughs> Thank you. I looked like a turtle. Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> and some of the people were triple threats, like the main character. Oh, you Faye! weren't? Okay. You weren't? You were just a band kid? I was banned. Mm. So, but I did take your trumpet oh my and God. pretended to play it. I thought that I needed to actually, like, know how to play instruments, and then my... My director was like, or like, like I think mom talked to the director, mm -hmm. and she was like, "No, she doesn't need to know how to play it at all. She just needs to know how to mime it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she just needs to know how to hold it right. Yeah, and that's it. And well, that wasn't even necessary. Yeah, <laughs> I really must think kids were not holding it right. <laughs> but anyway, I took your, I took your trumpet, and then like. My band teacher was like, oh, you want to learn how to play the trumpet? And oh taught God. me how to play, like, two notes. Oh. And, yeah. Well, actually, if you learn two notes, you can do almost all of them. It's just the air position from them. True. <laughs> I think she taught me how to do, like, two different air positions. Mm -hmm. The second one I wasn't good at or something like that. Whatever. God, I used to get such bad headaches in band class. I was pretty good at trumpet, though. Mm -hmm. I just really didn't want to march. <laughs> Oh, I fell in love with, like, some of the eighth graders. And, like, we were, like, we had, like, formed, like... A click. A click. Yeah? Yeah, that's the name of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. With the sixth graders and eighth graders. They went, yeah, you cute. I'm going to walk with you. Yeah. Because you little. Oh, mm -hmm. my God, that's how I felt as a senior one with the freshmen. The they were, one, like, little kids. The one that I, like, idolized, mm -hmm. she... Like, I wore, like, three hair ties mm -hmm. in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. And, like, and she was like, you always have hair ties. You have to share with people when you have hair ties. And then I started wearing a ridiculous <laughs> amount of hair ties because she told me. She said, okay, I'm going to take this whole pack and just shove it on my arm. <laughs> you need a hair tie? I got hair ties. Yeah. Please help me. My hand's going purple. <laughs> <laughs> and I would give people hair ties. <sighs> Oh, I also learned boom, snap, clap. Oh. <laughs> and that was fun to do the on, like, the, the band room stairs. Our band and choir room were very interesting at the middle school. Our middle school was very interesting, actually. Its shape is very odd. Well, it like, was a high school. But does that explain the way that it... The floor is uneven. Why does every why did every hallway have a ramp or stairs or both? Why? You know, did that it's need to called trying to be as inaccessible as possible? Thank you. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the, I mean, <laughs> truly li they had to add lifts in some yeah, of they the did add lift. halls yeah. because they had a like a set of just three stairs yes. for no reason. Yeah. Yep. And like we had several kids who were in wheelchairs, and yeah. they had to use those lifts. Yeah. It was wild. Wild, yeah. But yeah, and it had weird... Everything was different. Everything was... All the carpets and the stairs were different mm -hmm. colors, and, like, there was, like, a grand staircase oh, that I, I guess would have been... that thing. The entrance to the high school. But also, like, the entrance it to the was. high school. I know, but that's such a weird spot, too, though, considering, like, that's where the playground is now. Yeah. Like, it just seems so weird because, like, there's no parking anywhere near that. True. Uh, yeah. Whatever. But I don't you, know how... Yeah. I don't know how any of this works. I but. loved that staircase. It was... It, it, it is a magnificent staircase. It is it's very gorgeous. Pretty. It's very pretty. But... They might make that into one of the elementary schools now. Yeah, after they take our land and build a high school. Yeah. <laughs> our, our school district did send us a letter saying, you have 40 acres. We're looking for a 40-acre plot. Are you interested in selling to us? And yeah. our dad was like, they're not interested no. in our property. They clearly did not look at the, our property. They no, just they just went, looked at the property lines. That's it. They didn't yeah. look at the geography yeah. of it. Because we have... 
25 Mm -hmm. acres of wetlands. Yeah, so 15 acres are usable. Yeah. (laughs) And then the rest are, like, protected. Yeah. So (laughs) So they're not interested in our land because they want 40 acres. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. Anyway. I think they said their minimum was 30. Like, they were going 30 to 60. Yeah. And, yeah, 15 is half of that, so. Yeah. But Dan was like, we should offer it to them for a million dollars. He said five. Five he was million dollars? Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, okay. Five million. That sounds yeah, right. He said. I think our property is valued at more than a million now. Yeah. It's probably, like, almost two million or something. Like yeah. That. But he would be, like. He was he was like just trying to like highball it, mm-hmm. and like make it insane. But my brain was like, "What if nobody else says a- yes?" <laughs> and they're like, "Okay." I mean, we could back out. We could be like, "Oh, oh yeah." But also for five million dollars, I think I would relocate. Like I, I would pick up all of my shit and move. We could I probably mean, take I everything. <laughs> I guess. I like you like that tree. We're gonna hire someone to carry this tree. Five million dollars. Here you go. <laughs> sure, I don't. I don't think you understand how far five million dollars goes. But <laughs> it's really not going to go that far. We're going to be able to maybe buy another property. <laughs> Let me live in my fantasy world, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't like the the level of your voice right now. Your what? eyeballs are being mean. Okay. <laughs> you're saying what you're saying is is not not nonsensical. Anyway. <laughs> my eyeballs are being <laughs> <laughs> yes you're being judgmental all right anyway okay that fame. was sixth grade yes <laughs> seventh grade correct the year that i peaked oh <laughs> god <laughs> honestly that was um, your year it was my year i had a great time oh yeah well and your best friend hadn't moved away yet, so... Yeah, correct. <laughs> and she moved away <laughs> that like, summer. <laughs> yeah, right after that. <laughs> so we did The Wizard of Oz Jr. That one is a more acceptable children's musical. True. And you know, also, like, after our, like, eighth grade year, mm-hmm. our director was, like, like, I think, like... One of the girls that was in our musical had been like, oh, why don't we do, like, Disney musicals? And our director was like, we could never afford them. That's they did, weird. They started they did... doing Disney musicals, like, the year after. Our... Okay, but the year before you? Mm-hmm. They or did... was it two years? We did High School Musical, the musical oh, junior. Really? Yeah. Hmm. In, like, eighth grade, I want to say. Huh. That's wild. Anyway. But that was, like, the only I feel like Disney it... Oh my god, they did Finding Nemo, didn't they? They just did Finding Nemo. fucking missed it, man. I missed it too, yeah. (sighs) Where's my dad? (laughs) I'm all I I should have gone to it, but I think I I didn't hear about it until it was over. No, I didn't hear about it until it was over, yeah. And we had had somebody in the musical. Yeah. At our church. So I should have... Should have known. Anyway. And now they just wear those... They're like sweatshirts... Mm-hmm. Like, all the time, and I'm like, I missed it. Anyway. So you want to know what I played? Anybody have any guesses? Oh, my God. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> she sure did. hmm We had to try to dye gloves. Yeah. We did succeed eventually. <laughs> we just didn't know how fabric dye works. Yeah. With different... Fabrics. Yeah, different yeah. fibers. Yeah. So I had, like, a pair of, like, white gloves that turned into gray gloves. hmm Yeah. <laughs> because mom tried to dye them green and it did not work. No, it said, I don't want this. Yeah. I don't want this dye. Yeah. Shout out to Rit. Fabric dye. Okay. We anyway. bought a lot of that when we were trying to figure out what the fuck to do. <laughs> I wasn't a very big part of this dyeing process. No, uh-huh. you weren't because you were getting your face painted green and having allergic reactions. True. I was. I actually only have allergic reaction to one. I, yes, I, f- I did fall in love with Fun World Cosmetics. <laughs> Not spot sponsored. Time. And, yeah, we did, we used their, like, their, like, dark green. Mm-hmm. 
which is as you do and we did a test Mm -hmm. and like i wore it on my arm Mm -hmm. for like i don't know probably way longer than i needed to and then Mm -hmm. went yeah i didn't have an allergic reaction to it so then that was the makeup we used and then so you put it on your face skin yeah and but we'll talk about that later oh okay (laughs) First, I want to acknowledge what you said about my best friend. Mm -hmm. My best friend? What do you think she played? Dorothy. Yes. (laughs) Correct. It was like her first musical. Oh, yeah, but she's amazing. She is great. I just, ugh. Yeah. Love her. Mm -hmm. She, how's culinary school going? Have you been stalking her Instagram? I mean, yes. I thought that she, I think she graduated. Girl, I don't know. She just posts food all the time. I think she graduated. All I know is that she went to Tokyo Disney yes. without me. Yep. And I get it because her sister is, like, stationed in Japan, <laughs> Japan. But also, like, rude. Yeah. We don't talk very much. No. It's very sad. Yeah. Well, I mean, she doesn't live near here. And yeah. you really don't talk to me unless you have to tell me some random fact you thought of. Or yeah. you're commenting on a commercial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, I had this like this makeup and it was great. I loved I loved this makeup and it it brought out the green in my eyes, very pretty. I love how I look with green skin. It shows. Yeah. My bitmoji is also green. I was just going to say. <laughs> um, anything where she gets to pick the character's skin color, she goes, "Hmm, green." <laughs> Honestly though, like the the skin tones that Bitmoji has and has historically had had are funky. I don't know. They just they just they're weird. I feel like I can't find the right skin tone for myself. That's because you have like a yellow undertone. Okay. We we all look jaundiced in this house. Uh huh. Thank you. So you're welcome. <laughs> but I, I liked the the yeah I liked that I had I had a like shirt green shirt that i wore Mm -hmm. underneath to also be my skin Mm -hmm. so that we didn't have to (laughs) yeah paint my arms yeah it was a long sleeve yeah a long sleeve shirt yeah because then i had i had striped tights Mm -hmm. and i had a black wicked witch dress that we already had Mm -hmm. and we like pinned it up because it was like really long oh yeah yeah i think that thing's like shredded but we still have it we also had we already had a wicked witch costume um, at our house. Well, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It was who either wore that black for... cat or witch. Yeah. Black cat or witch. <laughs> so so I was like, I already have this costume. Yeah. <laughs> we had the hat, everything. Mm-hmm. It was great. And then it was like the perfect hat. Anyway. It was very light though. So it did sometimes fly off. But I got good at keeping it on my head. And then we also bought a broom from the hardware store that our mother works at. Okay, I had a team. I had I had like a, a makeup team and costume change team. Okay. I had I had a girl who would wait in my dressing room for me mm-hmm. to help me get changed. You because, had a costume change? Yes, I did because because well the thing is that I forgot her name, but <laughs> the wicked witch starts out as a woman from Dorothy's life. The oh, old woman. you're right. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's so, um. Do 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 do. Yeah, do, do. <laughs> the, the little bike. <laughs> yeah, and and oh yeah, there was like I had, I had like a rickety old bike. Of course. Yeah, that I drove on stage, and it oh, like yeah. had a flat tire, but <laughs> I managed to not fall off the stage. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was going to talk about the broom. That's what I was talking oh, about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The broom. We went to your other m- mo- method of transport. Yeah, the broom we got from our mother's hardware. Hardware, not the one she owns, but she works at. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, she doesn't work at the one she owns. And it's... <laughs> 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 yeah okay but it was like i mean it, it it was like the perfect broom it was it had black handle mm-hmm. and it was like a witchy yeah witchy like broom and straw yeah straw yeah. it's perfect perfect mm-hmm. i didn't put i didn't even really sold brooms like that anymore but it was perfect and it was just like mom was just like i'm looking for uh 
pick up props for my daughter. I'm going to go downstairs. Right there it is. Mm -hmm. Wow. She said, this is the easiest (laughs) shopping trip I've ever had. Yeah. (laughs) The gloves were definitely the thing that were (laughs) the worst. (laughs) Well, trying to buy gloves in the freaking spring, or was it the The fall? fall? It was fall. Well, fall wouldn't be that bad. Mm Mm-hmm. I was a, I mean it was a great time to go shop. It's a great time to go shopping cuz like I mean you got Halloween costumes. Oh everything. yeah. Like so we went to Goodwill actually. My hat for for the old lady. <laughs> I forgot her name. I feel bad. Gulch? Yeah, Mrs. that sounds Gulch. right. Mrs. Gulch. Yes. I don't know where that came from. That just like flew into the back of my head. Also, we did I, Wizard of Oz for my 3rd grade musical. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. I was an interviewer. <laughs> that's fucking weird i started the whole thing i yeah. got to write all my notes in my notepad though so i was i was like reading it uh-huh. like how your father does mm-hmm. anyway we had oh yeah i bought i bought my hat off of a goodwill employee who was dressed as a scarecrow <laughs> <laughs> what (laughs) like we went to goodwill during like the halloween season costume buying Mm -hmm. season so all of the employees at the goodwill had like dressed up in halloween costumes Mm -hmm. to help like sell the merch and like i think most of what they were wearing was like from or most of or some of the things that they were wearing were their stock yeah part of the stock yeah Mm -hmm. so she had a hat and it was like and yeah, and it was it had a tag on it, and mm-hmm. I, I was like, "That's the perfect hat." And so, <laughs> mom bought it off of the scarecrow, and she said, "She was like, it makes me very sad, but yes, you can buy my hat." <laughs> <laughs> so he ruined her costume. I was just gonna say, you ruined this poor woman's life. She's like, now I look stupid. <laughs> Scarecrows don't necessarily need hats, but. It's good for a scarecrow to have a hat, I guess. Yeah. Anyway. Girl, what do you see in a scarecrow without a hat? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look fucking terrifying. They, sh- they should wear hats. You're right. They are out in the field. It's sunny. Yeah. Anyway. that's I, They don't want skin cancer. Mm. Bag cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Burlap cancer. I don't Burlap know. cancer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Reminds me of. Sexy cancer. Yes. That's not right, is it? Okay, so the thing is, I was in the tornado scene. Oh. Yes. Uh Uh-huh. And then there's the munchkin scene. Uh Uh-huh. And then I come up at the end of that scene. Oh, shit. Yeah. So there was a very (laughs) tiny window for For me to... For you to turn green? Yeah. (laughs) Full costume and makeup. So you just went back there and you went... Okay, beat me up. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. So I would, I would go. Yeah, I would run mm-hmm. to the. It was such a fun. It was fun. It was so fun. It was so fun. I also like when we were like in the like band room and like learning our uh, before we got to the stage. Mm-hmm. It was like nothing for me to do because like everybody was like learning songs and stuff. I would just mm-hmm. sit and watch. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to sing or dance. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. But I I would run to the changing room. I would change my costume, have somebody help me, and then run to the makeup stand. And there would be, like, three people there Mm -hmm. waiting for me to put on my makeup. So, normally, this went wonderfully. Mm -hmm. For one performance. It was the performance for the middle school. Mm. It It was, like, a day performance for the middle school. Yeah. And we had someone who had, like, she was doing my makeup for, like, that performance. For whatever reason, like, she just did, like, I think she just did it for that one performance. But she was, like, we ha- I have this, like, different makeup. Is it okay if I use this? And she asked me at the time when the makeup needed to go on. So I was, like... 
yeah, whatever. Put it on my face. I <laughs> need said, to go. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> yeah. So she put it on, and it was still Fun World, but it was their lighter col- It was a lighter color mm-hmm. green. So it had some different chemicals in it. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. People said it looked good, but I don't know. But it didn't match the rest of you know because we had yeah. we had matched the like my dark green clothing mm-hmm. to the makeup on my face. Yeah. So well, whatever. I don't know why you would bring in. I oh, know. Yeah, it was te- terrible idea. Yeah. But anyway, so we it did did that, and then I had that evening. I had to take it off. We had mm-hmm. another performance. Yeah. And. It would not come off my face, and it burned. <gasps> this stuff burned, and it refused to come off my face. So I had to, like, scrub oh, for a very long time. It was awful. It's awful. But luckily, then, we used the regular stuff. Yeah, the one you were supposed <sighs> to use the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Who the fuck is this lady? She just showed up to create chaos. She yeah. went, I brought permanent makeup. Yeah. Here you go. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, oh, here's here's a fun thing. I went on vocal rest <laughs> before the performance. Uh, I I got a whiteboard and I like would go to school with the whiteboard and be like, I'm on vocal rest, and I would. <laughs> oh, I she mean, went full fucking. She's like, I'm the star of this musical. I need to protect my instrument. <laughs> Okay, but the laugh was actually very taxing oh, on my yeah. face. You literally made an adult cry. Yes, that was my, that's my next. Oh, point. sorry. <laughs> actually, scary. Also, a very big goal of mine in middle school was to be scary. I saw myself as mm-hmm. scary, and like there were boys in like elementary and middle school who would say to me, "You're not scary. You're not scary." And you said, but I think that actually you, I probably means that I am scary because mm-hmm. I didn't ask them if I was No, scary. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they say, you're not scary. Like, why are you volunteering this information, sir? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, it va- validated me that I was scary. Mm-hmm. And I made our aunt very proud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. She was like, someone left the theater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, they just bounced. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I terrified them. Uh-huh. Right? I'm pretty sure these people come with their kids. And they're like, oh, we're going to go see the Wizard of Oz. And then you get on stage and you're cackling. Oh, yeah. And the kids are like, shall I give a sample? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did that clip really bad? It was, yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was loud. Yeah. And. I it was so fun. I had the best entrances and exits. I would hide. Mm-hmm. A, a, you know, a big part of my role was just hiding. Yeah, <laughs> which is probably why you had so much fun with it too. This is so fun. You really got to fuck around, and you didn't have to like do any of like the like you didn't have to know the dances. Or <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> you I just was- had your lines, and you. Yeah, the main part of this role was being able to hide effectively. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How to manage all of my props. Yes. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> While hiding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then pop up. Mm-hmm. And like laugh. And yeah. Um, I did struggle with some of my lines, including, I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. <laughs> I would forget that line so often, and my <laughs> director was like, you can't forget that line, and then, like, talked, told my parents, and dad was like, I say that all the uh-huh, time I was, her. I was literally just going to say, <laughs> girl, your parents been saying that since the beginning of time. I know, I know but my brain was just, like, unimportant. <laughs> you went, um, I don't think my, um, I don't think me in this role, my character would do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the most iconic line for your yeah. character and you said no <laughs> i think I it doesn't think, feel right uh, <laughs> but anyway i would okay so our, our theater has like stairs going up to the front of the stage 
you know? From the sides. Yes, from the from wings. From the sides. Yes. From the wings. Okay. And then there were also like stairs in the wall that went up to like the backstage. Yes. You know, or the hallway. Yeah, um, to the actual wings. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I could go down the stairs from the backstage Mm -hmm. and there was like a little bit of space where I was exposed Mm -hmm. so I'd have to like scurry past Mm -hmm. that area and I mean the people at at the front corner would always see me oh for sure for sure yeah but it was fine and then I would go and hide on the stairs on to the stage and wait for my entrance and I would I think I would take I have to take my hat off Mm -hmm. and I would flip my hat on Mm -hmm. as I went onto stage Mm -hmm. because also like also it's it's also the hat didn't have like I don't know like boning or anything. Yeah, there wasn't any structure. The, yeah, so yeah. you had to do the fluffing. It was thing. air. Yeah, that was keeping it up, mm-hmm. and I wanted it to be up. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to be floppy, so yeah. I had to make sure I made it straight. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I would, I would go on to stage and I would laugh, and then I also, I also had an entrance from the back of the theater. Where I, oh, like from the hallway? Yeah, from the hallway. So I would walk through the seating area with all my flying monkeys. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. And I think they had like a green spotlight for me too. Mm-hmm. Very cool. I had a a crystal ball too that I had. So there was one point when my hands were very full. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, hold on. Let me, let me figure out where I'm going to put my stuff. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. And like, and I think in that scene, I had to like wave my hands around and like mm-hmm. do the magic. Oh, yeah, with a crystal ball. Yeah, shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. They said, "I know you're twelve, mm-hmm. but um, I need you to not drop this crystal ball, please." <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't a real crystal ball. It was a f- fish bowl full of that's almost aluminum worse. foil. It was still glass. Yes, <laughs> but yeah. But it wasn't, I mean, it Because a crystal ball would chip. Heavy, it wouldn't shatter also. if you dropped it. Yeah, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> I did that. And I had, oh, my, the the boy who played Nico, mm-hmm. the main flying monkey, mm-hmm. his mom did an excellent job on his wings. I was like, I want some of these wings. I should I should talk to her about it and be like, <laughs> be like can remember you remember me these <laughs> wings that I wanted <laughs> like ten years ago in middle school? <laughs> ah, ah, okay. Do you remember this project that you did for your kids? But he was like school musical. Terrified of me because he was cons- he was certain that I had a c- crush on him, but I did not have a crush on him. He really said, "Cooties." Cooties! <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, I would like go and like chase him down to be like, we have an entrance. We're yeah. supposed to be on. And he's and running he's, away. Like, running away from me because he thinks that like I'm gonna like. Uh, hug no, him you're or just trying to be bossy. Ooh. You're like, child, yeah. we're gonna miss our entrance because you're stupid ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <sighs> yeah. So then, and then you know how I died. Very fun. This was a very. This was the most coordinated thing I had to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in the entire musical and it was very fun Mm -hmm. they made a box Mm -hmm. for me that Mm -hmm. like wheeled out and it like kind of looked like i like a terrace once i was up oh yeah yeah. i would stand on top of the box Mm -hmm. and i would like you know do my last like threatening thing and i'd be Mm -hmm. like i'm gonna burn you scarecrow and whatever else i said i would shave you make you a a fur rug and like i'm gonna I don't know what I had said to the Tin Man, but there was some. I was something for everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then Dorothy throws water on me, and I would sit crying. What a world! What a world! And uh, I would. I had a cape. I didn't say. I didn't talk about the cape. You at did all not yet. talk about the cape. No, but, but also the cape we had. Right. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we already mm-hmm. had the cape too. So yeah. So then I like. I would like untie the cape and then as i was as i was doing this whole thing and i would start to like shrink down and stuff and then at the very end of my speech Mm -hmm. i would take the cape off and the hat Mm -hmm. and i would throw them onto the the ground in front of me as i snuck into the box (laughs) (laughs) and i would I, would, I was curled up 
in this box mm -hmm. for the next song. Oh my god! <laughs> which was ding dong the witches. Yeah, came, which is it wasn't very long. No, but you you were like, but I was in a box. I'm a sardine. <laughs> I was in a box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and part of my costume was on the stage. Yeah, my favorite part about the set, though, mm -hmm. since you brought up the set, it was a great set. Was that. Your father and I had to red redneck engineer the talking head. Oh, yeah. That is all that we did on set building day. Really? You yep. guys only only did the talking well, head? Well, we were trying to figure out how to make it talk without flapping all over. Yeah. Because that was the biggest issue was that, like, the bottom jaw was just going wild. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. We had, a, oh, yeah, our 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 director, I remember the, like, meeting that she had mm -hmm. with the, with the like, parents mm -hmm. that were going to help with set building mm -hmm. about her idea for the set. And she was like, it's going to be a moving set. Yep. And it was cool. I think mm -hmm. it, I think it ended up really good. You yeah. know, it was, I think it was nice. Mm -hmm. and, like, so they had, like of cornfield that wheeled out and they mm -hmm. had like trees i mean people were trees you know like yeah. as you do so i mean they're just they're trees trees mm -hmm. trees in the theater world are you know you know it, well, they weren't costumes i guess there are a lot of options they were mm -hmm. they were like just a board <laughs> yeah yeah and then they had like yeah, like gates to Oz and the the, the talking head mm -hmm. and stuff, and they had my my lair, which is tower thingy, whatever oh. you call it. It's, I had I had a room. Oh, mm -hmm. and they had oh they had a house. The house was so cool too. I don't actually remember the house. The house was cool. It had it had an inside and an outside and like and oh. like I think during the tornado they spun it around. <gasps> yeah. And it was cute. There was a picture of one of the boys who had uh, just started high school maybe. Or he was a couple years in high but like he had done, you know, it was like from like another one of the musicals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> but he oh, was, it was like hung he up was in the house. In the house. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it, it was it was cool. It was cool. There was so much to this musical. It was a great oh, yeah. musical. It was honestly very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we and this is where ninety percent of your character comes from. Yeah, and I went. I went. This is the best character I've ever played and will ever play. And this is me now. Mm -hmm. I am the Wicked Witch. Yes, <laughs> I am the Wicked Witch of the West. Mm hmm. Yeah, and then the next year, our musical for eighth grade was Hawk Jr. Mm -hmm. And it, I went in and like, they were like, the villain is a cat, and I said, okay, I will be the cat. <laughs> <laughs> he said, hi, I'd like to audition for whoever the villain is. Mm -hmm. Please. And this time, I had a song. Oh, I remember mm -hmm. your song. Yeah. I don't remember the words my, to like, your song, but I remember your song. My, like, theme, like, because we, uh, you know, my musical score mm -hmm. was, like, saxophone. Oh, I thought yeah, that was yeah. very cool. Mm -hmm. That, like, and, like, everybody had, every, like, character had, like, their own. Instrument. Like, yeah, instrument yeah. and score. Yeah, it was very, mm -hmm. it was very cute. Yeah. I, I liked, I liked that about it. And in this one... I got to die in a snowbank. I don't think I actually died because I popped back up. Mm -hmm. Like I was, but I like froze in a snowbank for a okay. long time. But you're in middle school, so nobody dies. Not yeah, even the Wicked Witch guess. of the West. She melted, silly. Mm -hmm. She's so, not dead. She's melted. <laughs> and Hawk Jr. is the ugly duckling story. Uh huh. By the way. <laughs> so we had like, we had these big eggs. That, like, people would pop out of. You know, mm -hmm. you know, it was very cute. And I had, like, a... I had, like, a, ma I had, like, a massive, like, cat food container, I think. Yes. And stuff. You like, did. It was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And I had a cleaver, I think. Yeah, I had a cleaver. I'm sure. Because I was going to make duck a la orange. <laughs> yes. Yes. <sighs> yep. I remember your giant cat food mm -hmm. thing. Because I think you had to sit in it at some point. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 
And but yeah, I got to be in a snowbank, which was like I, I think it was like a tablecloth mm-hmm. that I'd <laughs> I in and I would lay that that was I was on stage for a lot longer than I was in the box. Yeah. <laughs> I had to stay there and like not breathe for a very long time. <laughs> Why didn't you just rotate? Hmm? Why, rotate. Yeah, why couldn't you just I couldn't put your move. face away from the Well, stage? I could put my face away. I, I think I was I, – I, I laid on my back and I stared at the ceiling. Well, that was your, your problem. Whatever. I you, I would you breathe. Like I could your breathe. Head or something. But I couldn't move. Like I couldn't move from where I was. Yeah. I couldn't move at all. I couldn't move mm-hmm. like my arms or anything. Yeah. Because it would be like whoosh, whoosh. Mm-hmm. I also – I did some barking. It is well. I played. I played both the cat and the dogs because there was a scene with like hunters mm-hmm. where like I led a bunch of geese to their deaths because I was like, let's go over here and like I led them into to into the hunters and mm-hmm. then like one of our like our directors like daughter our stage manager was supposed to like do the barking but she was like. Arf! And I'm like, that does not sound like hunting dogs. You're like, "Mm." sounds like wrong. Sounds like one (laughs) chihuahua. Yeah. (laughs) So I went and I like hid in between the curtain and like Mm -hmm. the wall. And I went. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I would, I again would run off stage and then immediately (laughs) be the the dog barking. So, because I like. I'm, I'm not a cat. I like bounced out, like my character bounced out, so that she didn't get shot. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, it was a whole thing. Yeah, so that's that's that. And I went, oh, I'm I'm so good at being a villain, and like I can't wait for high school, and like when I get to be like a villain in one of those again. And then there were like no villains in any of them. Mm. <sighs> yeah, want to. Uh get past middle school a lot of times it's more problems than villains yeah like there's not one person Mm -hmm. you're like oh that's the bad guy yeah and you feel like they even like avoided like you know like mean girls and stuff like that or whatever it was like it's just like it's just boring anyway (laughs) long story short she couldn't be but i had roles that i liked so let's start with freshman year now we're getting into the meat, and we're an hour into this recording. Woohoo! Um, you gotta hurry up, girl. So high school, <laughs> we have a fall play and a spring musical. Mm-hmm. So in the fall, I was in this play, and it was called. I'm gonna give you like huge spoilers for this play when, as I tell you about my character. So the play was called Dating for Redacted. Mm. <laughs> So hopefully you maybe you will be able to. I mean, it's still good. You should still watch it. No one watched Shakespeare because they didn't know the plot. They didn't watch it for the plot. You don't go to theater to see something new. You go to see something limited. This is the only time that you will see these actors. Yeah, playing these roles in this play Mm -hmm. like and you can go to a musical Mm -hmm. when you know all of the songs yeah you can go to a play when you know exactly how the plot goes Mm -hmm. (laughs) and it's still interesting and different yeah yeah but anyway dating for redacted i played janelle Mm -hmm. and this part also is a very big part Mm -hmm. in my life i think i i I, th- I got cast into this role, which we initially, like, my my directors did not cast the role, this role. And then, like, they like they just, like, were like, we don't need to, we'll figure it out. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, she's only, like, in the end of the... She's only in the end. So that's why, but, they, but I was doing cross country. So mm-hmm. they were like, let's have you do this part that's smaller, yeah. which will be easier for you to manage cross country in the play because my directors refused to have the play practice later yeah. in the day. Why? I don't know. They were under this delusion that theater kids do not do sports. Even though they were proved wrong every single year, there yeah. were more and more tennis people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and another thing is that most theater kids 
don't have a problem with being at the school 24-7. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. you just hang out on the stage. My <laughs> my directors didn't want to be at school that late. Correct. That's yeah. what it was. Mm-hmm. But anyway, still, I love them. They're great. Mm-hmm. They're great directors. But oh, yeah. Well, great they're great people, people too, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, but that was one thing we butted heads on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I... With Janelle. I got... Janelle is a character. In Dating for Redacted, Redacted tells his parents that he has a girlfriend and he is... He's a loser. Mm-hmm. And he can't have... He can't get a girlfriend. He's a big nerd. He loves math. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's a big loser. And so he tells... And it's, and his sister is just wonderful. And she has a cafe in her own apartment. And, it's, mm-hmm. and, and her parents love her. But... They think that he is just a disappointment. Mm-hmm. He tells his parents that he has a fiance, and they say, "That's wonderful. We'll come this weekend to meet her." <laughs> and he goes, "I don't have a fiance." <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Shit." <laughs> <laughs> and so he has to find a fiance. Mm-hmm. So he asks his friends for help. And they start by asking him what what his ideal woman is, and they draw her on a on a an easel. Yeah, <laughs> like a giant sketch pad. Yeah, like a giant. It's one that it was in. We used a giant teacher like yeah. thing, and it was just like the worst picture ever, like drawn by two two high school boys alive and purposely bad. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and it was different every like, different play because they literally drew it right there. Yeah. Yep. So then we had tons of these. I got to keep one. And she looks busted. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I hung her up on my wall at college. And there were, like, boys that came to my dorm. Mm-hmm. And they saw it. And they were like, I want to draw boobs on her. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm of like, course. <laughs> she d- I, I told them that they couldn't because that would be, you know – disparaging or yeah that, w- that would be defiling this this piece of amazing art you, yes you wouldn't Correct. draw boobs on the mona lisa anyway. she already got tits you don't know <laughs> i know <laughs> that's the difference between <laughs> janelle and the mona lisa mona lisa has tits <laughs> i said this could be a tit and there's like a bump somewhere oh my god it's it was so like, lumpy it was like it was, it's very lumpy yeah and she looks like a she looks like a very lumpy bean yes <laughs> it's, yeah not great. Like, if you give a five-year-old a crayon and you tell them you have to draw a person yeah. before you can go play outside. Yeah. They're like, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Where Where is her body? What is her body? Yeah. And you I have to ask, know. like, what is this that's over here? <laughs> and like, the answer um, is, I don't know. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and clearly, but, that's her shoe. But they Why wrote- is it by your head? <laughs> They wrote on the top of it, Janelle. Mm -hmm. So they named her Janelle. Mm -hmm. And like, and he's like, why did you name her Janelle? But whatever. And they name her Janelle and they're like, this is your perfect woman. And, and then they go on dates. They, all three of them date these women Mm -hmm. and like, they don't find the right one. And he goes, you know, they also put an ad in the newspaper. But the day comes and he's Mm -hmm. like, I'm going to be a failure again. And then like. There's a knock on the door, and he's mm-hmm. like, oh, no, get the door. I can't face them. And then his sister opens the door, and it is this woman who calls herself Janelle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so his perfect woman just shows up mm-hmm. minutes before his parents show, show up. And yeah. she's like, I'm your fiancé. Mm-hmm. A total deus ex machina. Mm-hmm. But I bought the costume for this. Is a a mauve dress from Rue 21. Of course, yes. And it is, I mean, it's just, it's very plain. It's just like a skater dress Mm -hmm. with like a, like you neckline, you neckline. And I wore it for that. And then it became the dress that I wore for everything. It goes with everything. Oh, I yeah. realized that, like, it is it is my dress that if I'm, like, I need to match with somebody. Mm-hmm. And, like, I wore, I've worn it for solo ensemble. I wore it for photos with my 
current boyfriend. Yeah, you did, as, actually. I, I still wear it. It still mm-hmm. fits me as an adult. I wore it for a film that I just recorded. Mm-hmm. You know, it's w- and it goes very well with blue. Yeah, so, like, you can wear a jean jacket over it. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. But also, like, men tend to like to wear blue. A lot of their yeah. clothing, a lot of their dress clothing is blue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it just goes perfectly with that. So, yeah. it, like... There was, yeah, we were making outfits, mm-hmm. Zach and I, and mm-hmm. like, yeah, he was like, he was like, I have this, or no, uh, we went shopping. He mm-hmm. had nothing, but of course, we found this like my wife too, God, blue shirt, and I was like, we can make this work with mm-hmm. this mauve dress. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it just goes with everything. I can't get rid of it. And there was a point in my life. Where I would pull out, you know, pull out dresses for you and mom mm-hmm. to be like, what should I wear for this event? And you guys would be like, you can't wear the the Janelle dress. <laughs> yeah. We call it the Janelle, the Janelle dress. dress. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Ugh. You're like, you can't wear it because you've worn it too much. It literally, it looks like you are photoshopped into so many <laughs> pictures <laughs> because you are wearing the same outfit. <laughs> I also had like one hair, one fancy hairstyle. Oh yeah, when I was in high school, so half up, half down. No, that was me. No, mine was curled hair with, mm-hmm. and then I had like pinned it back. So anyway, and a lot of times I would wear a bow. So this this play though was wonderful for me, and I loved. I loved the best thing about it was the camaraderie, the theater kids that did the play and drama club were amazing yeah i they were awesome Mm -hmm. you know they were just best people we we would like hang out backstage together i mean i guess most i guess probably part of why it's like so about the camaraderie is because i had nothing to do for most of the play but just like hang out backstage yeah so we like we had like signed like posters for each other and stuff mm-hmm. like that and we all signed like janelle pictures for yeah. our directors mm-hmm. and stuff and i think i i kissed them too yeah. so that there was a yeah the like, lipstick stain yeah. i came up with a signature for janelle like i made you're too a, method a signature you always like you're like i am this person uh, okay <laughs> anyway She's an actress. Okay. I'm not method. <laughs> Whatever. Also, the last name of the main character is Nell. So it became Nell. Janelle Nell. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is the most ridiculous shit ever. Janelle anyway, Nell. The lead actor and I, mm-hmm. like, called each other fiancé all the way through high school. Yeah. And then, like, after, like, when he would come to stuff he would mm-hmm. still like come to some of the shows and we would take pictures akin to our final pose yeah in that play mm-hmm. after every one of the shows yeah <laughs> yeah and then and we would like say hey fiance to each other in the hallway mm-hmm. i also want to tell you something about the play culture in our school we had the girls dressing room and the boys dressing room mm-hmm and the boys were not allowed in the girls' dressing room. And mm-hmm. the girls were not allowed in the boys' dressing room. But in order to, like, like knock and say, you know, hey, like, there's a girl on this side of the door, we had a secret word. <laughs> and that word was vagina. <laughs> oh, my God. Of course it was. Her <laughs> password was vagina. Yeah. <laughs> I actually didn't know what the inside of the boys' dressing room looked like until my junior year of high school because i just never went in there oh really I, yeah i didn't but have that, any reason that was also the storage room for like all of the paint and stuff so oh. we definitely went in there for like dur- during the set building, set building yeah. for middle school we were in there all the time yeah. and actually that was our like for the middle school musicals we spread out more than the play for most of the things mm-hmm. we would have to spread out we'd take like tr- practice rooms and stuff yeah but for the play, we didn't need that many. We only need the two. But for whatever reason, we us- but usually that the stage right one mm-hmm. is the voice. Yes. But for whatever reason, during Honk, mm-hmm. it was me and like maybe like three other like eighth grade girls that were in that one. Like that's weird. Yeah. 
which is weird. Yeah. I mean, it made, I think I think it was for the girl who played the main character mm-hmm. because she had to like change fast and i think like i think she had to she had to do it on that side of the stage yeah so we were like this is yeah mm-hmm. this is just the closest for you so we'll put you in here yeah, yeah. i think that's why it ended up happening i didn't have to change during the show and mm-hmm. the costume changes but she did turn into a swan yeah. <laughs> so then yeah, so we, that's, yeah, the camaraderie of it. You couldn't say vagina if you didn't have a vagina. Mm-hmm. So we also had a trans boy that we let into the girls' dressing room. Mm-hmm. So he could say vagina and we <laughs> would let him in. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I already know what you got. <laughs> it's fine. Then the freshman year musical mm-hmm. was Little Shop of Horrors. Which is a very fun musical. Mm-hmm. I again, I didn't get to play the villain because Audrey too is is like has a like a masculine voice, mm-hmm. so uh, couldn't do you it. You couldn't get out your smoker voice. No, and well, I was. I mean, honest the the boy who played him was very good. He's yeah. a very good singer and stuff. Like mm-hmm. there was no beating him. Yep, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for that role, I wanted to be one of the like the three like singer girls too whatever they're called but that like narrate it but oh i didn't get to be that either i got to be uh yeah i don't know what they're called yeah i don't i got to be one of the one of the people on skid row so Mm. skid row resident Mm mm-hmm yeah is not a very fun play for ensemble because there's just very limited like stuff but it is a cool play yeah and it was very and good i think little shop is one of those that you can do with very minimal yes actors so it's hard to find something to do for yeah extra people because it's made to have like two to three people on the stage at a time yeah <laughs> like eh. yeah but it was it was fun it was still fun mm-hmm. but it was kind of, it was kind of boring in in ways yeah. for me so you didn't get to like run and not hide very, and yeah, not a very big, not a very yeah, not very, not something that I would put on my resume. Yeah. <laughs> then, sophomore year play mm-hmm. was Ten Ways to Survive Zombie Apocalypse, mm-hmm. and that one is a very minimal cast. It has four main characters. There's yeah, two boys and two girls. Mm-hmm. And then there's two zombies that have speaking parts. Mm-hmm. And then there's also, like, a horde of yeah. other zombies. But I think we had five zombies in total. Mm-hmm. But actually that year, we we had a, a lot of people. A lot of people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For whatever reason, I the think... a drama club, uh, the, yeah, drama club, like, blew up, I guess. Mm-hmm. And so we actually did a double feature. Because mm-hmm. they we did two one act plays. The other one was uh, something about it was it was it was high it was high school one. I forget what it's called. It was like something weird. And so like, you were not in that one. I was not in it. No, I remember that because I thought that year was weird because, like you said, it was two one act plays. Yeah, and they didn't. I think it was fun though okay so it was like freshman orientation was what it mm-hmm. was and like and they were like ma- doing skits of like this is how you this is how you deal with this situation in high school mm-hmm. and <laughs> there definitely was like a birth yeah i was the uh anyway. i was on the orientation crew for freshmen oh yeah in real life mm-hmm. so yeah. yeah we but- did not do a mock birth though no no i yeah. know i know the skits all too well yeah so they had some signs in it, and they had lots of, like, different props. And mm-hmm. it was very – I think it was very fun and cute. But, I mean, I guess 10 Ways to Survive was the, the like, star of yeah. it. And we were the second part. Oh. So the, the high school one went first and then – which gave the us extra time to do makeup. Yes, yeah. But we also split 10 Ways to Survive mm-hmm. because we needed even more spots. Yeah. So we had – 
we had an A team and a B team, mm-hmm. and I was on the B team, mm-hmm. and there so we'd we'd swap out. Yeah, I think actually it ended up being that like A team got six scenarios and we got four, for whatever reason mm-hmm. they got an extra one, and we were like, well, that's kind of shitty, but. <laughs> But there was some sort of like there was there was, uh, there was a our our directors justified it with like I think I think it was actually that like one of our one of the people in one of our skits mm-hmm. had to he had stumps and they were like you need extra time to get into your stumps and they were socks <laughs> 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 like, he didn't <laughs> they said I know how hard it is for you to put socks on <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a little extra time here. <laughs> So you can really do it right. Yeah. And they were like, they were not, they were, they were not good. There was like a girl who was like, yeah, I'll make the stumps. And like, she made them and it were like bloody socks. And we were like, what? <laughs> they like, this she, is not She that. dipped it in red uh, <laughs> yeah. food coloring, not even fabric dye. She said, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. But. I, this is a good play for me because I did FX makeup mm-hmm. and I got to be the lead makeup person. Mm-hmm. So, and I did, yeah, I did the makeup for <laughs> for all the zombies. Yeah. And the the girl who made the socks did help me with the makeup, and she wasn't as good. And she was, I told her that like she should use some green, and she was like, "All right, I made their faces <laughs> green." Yeah, but it was, I mean, it was fun. It was mm-hmm. great. And I reused, I reused the prosthetics on them. Some of them got very juicy by the end. It yeah. was kind of gross. <laughs> Pretty gross. It adds to it. It's mm-hmm. just part of it. <laughs> yeah. But that was a, that was fun. And there was like a section where like, there is, there's a boy that like, I feel like we would be very good. We are. Mm-hmm. We have good chemistry mm-hmm. on stage, but he always gets like, big roles and i mm-hmm. get really small roles yeah so like we never get to yeah do stuff together mm-hmm. he was actually he was he was shrek in shrek the musical and i went and saw it and it was awesome mm-hmm. but i kind of wish that i had known that it was happening you know and i could have auditioned for it because it would have been yeah. so, uh, that would have been a dream to be fiona versus oh, yeah. him mm-hmm. yeah it would have been opposite him it would have been wasn't it so a good. like she was great wasn't it like that one it was in teacher? a different huh no it was in a different town oh okay. he's he's in college and oh, it's where it he's in, in college, college. okay so it wouldn't have been like easy for me it would have yeah. been would not have been convenient for me yeah but i feel like i probably would have made it work because mm-hmm. it would have been so fun yeah and I will probably never get to be in Shrek the Musical. <laughs> yeah. What's your one regret? I was never in Shrek the Musical. <laughs> <laughs> but be on your deathbed and talking to your great grandchildren and go, just remember, if you're doing <laughs> Shrek the Musical anywhere near you, always audition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then. <laughs> Yeah, but the, but oh, but there was a scene where like like the other two people in mm-hmm. our in our group they were like the the main, and this happened a lot where like you know they would have two people that were bickering at the front of the stage, and then the mm-hmm. other two would like be doing something. I had like the other girl that was in it. There mm-hmm. was a portion where we were like sword fighting. We had in that play we had a we had a brick wall, mm-hmm. and then we had a pile of stuff, and that was our set. And so, like, on a cart, <laughs> pile of stuff on a cart. So we would just go and, like, get things from that pile of stuff. So we were picking up stuff from the pile of stuff and sword fighting with it. Just a pile of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a zombie apocalypse. Just yeah. garbage around. I just, I love that they went, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to have a brick wall and a pile of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's in the pile of stuff? stuff mm-hmm. just find stuff put it in the pile <laughs> and we had like we had like like missing posters of us like mm-hmm. on the wall and like that was part of our like advertising Ooh, mm-hmm. this before i forget about it we also were we had a float in the homecoming parade mm-hmm. and this year was fun because we were able to combine football zombies then this yeah. high school play because the high school play had like signs mm-hmm. and so 
we had like some signs that said there was one actually it was the like culmination of everything and it was so perfect and it was an accident (laughs) (laughs) and it was an accident so someone was making made a sign Mm -hmm. and it said it's time to eat our brian's And then, and then, <laughs> so fucking stupid. and then our English teacher director crossed it off and, and, and corrected it <laughs> to, to Brian. Like she made like the editing marks. She corrected it to brain or brain? Brian? <laughs> to brain. <laughs> to brains, not Brian's. Yes. Yes. But also here's the thing. Our other director, his name was Brian. Yes. Yeah. So it was just like the absolute <laughs> most perfect <laughs> sign yeah, anyone's ever shit. made. <laughs> <laughs> Time to eat our Brian's. <laughs> God. Yeah. So yeah. that was on the float. Yes. Yeah. And like I got to be, I had like, I had like borrowed like one of my friend's like jerseys Mm -hmm. and i like so i got to be a zombie football player Mm -hmm. on the float and i like chased after them yeah Yeah. it was it was great it's great oh i was i was in the middle of saying something my adhd (laughs) yeah (laughs) undiagnosed adhd but anyway undiagnosed is the best flavor with with the with with the boy and the other two people in our group were at the front of the stage doing their thing. And mm-hmm. so he was collecting shit from the pile. Mm-hmm. And he was like, he like set the, arranged them around himself. Mm-hmm. And then he like took a nap. And I sat on him. And like my director, like he... He brought everybody out and was like, you need to watch this scene because this is the best, like, <laughs> be- like background acting ever. Mm-hmm. That's what you want. Like, they they encouraged us to... Fuck around? Yeah, to <laughs> try to draw the audience's attention. Yeah. At all time. And they were like, mm-hmm. do that. Try mm-hmm. to be as over the top as that. <laughs> what do you mean you oh, sat God. on him? I sat on him. He was laying down, and I sat on him. In his like, pile I think of I was, like, trying to, like, wake him up or something. Oh. And he wasn't waking up, and so then I would sit on him. Mm-hmm. And I, like, like sit on his side. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I would sit on him. It makes more sense in the, like, waking them up versus, like, he just laid down, and then you went, yeah, I I'm going to sit on this. <laughs> I know. But I was trying to remember how we actually got to that point. But yeah. I, for whatever reason, I sat on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was so much fun. Oh, wait. <laughs> actually, also the girl who played my character. Mm-hmm. We played the same, the girl that I played the same character as. Yes. We had, like, different they names. Do. We changed the names mm-hmm. so that they were, like, a little bit different. So mm-hmm. we weren't, like, pretending to be each other. But I think we, like, wore somewhat coordinating colors, mm-hmm. like, our outfits. Me and, the and like, I'm very close with, with her even still mm-hmm. today. But we were wearing red shirts and stuff. Mm-hmm. And there was, like, a point at which, like, we were backstage and we drew penises on each other. <laughs> like, each other's, like, bellies. <laughs> Of course you did. It was great. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, next. <laughs> Sophomore year uh, musical was The Addams Family. Mm-hmm. And I played an ancestor. Yeah. You're and a dead person. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I was a ghost. I was the jester. Mm-hmm. And I was a jester ancestor. And we all had to be like white. Mm-hmm. Like we had to like have white clothes and we had like white cream makeup mm-hmm. but i got to do like gesture makeup and stuff and it was very mm-hmm. cool and like i was i had my director was like can like i started gymnastics sophomore year of high school mm-hmm. my director was like can you do a back bend and i said no <laughs> <laughs> but i can try <laughs> and then i learned how to do a cartwheel 
Mm -hmm. Sophomore year of high school. So I did a cartwheel Which in means the play. I have musical. absolutely failed you because, like, I was one of those girlies who was doing cartwheels. I think you enjoyed the fact that I couldn't do a Probably, cartwheel. And mean. that's why you didn't teach me how to do that. it. You were, like, so funny that you well, think you can do this. My gymnastics friend was the one who taught me, so. Yeah. And you didn't have a gymnastics friend. So. Mm, yeah. Until high school. And then she said, you should join gymnastics yes. and sign <laughs> me up. Also, the, the the same girl as as I was playing opposite in the play. Yeah. So, not opposite, but whatever. I'm playing the same character as. Mm -hmm. So I I did do a back bend, mm -hmm. but in this one I had to like I had was supported by like all of the other ancestors. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't do a full back bend. Yeah. But it was like it was like for like an arrow, mm -hmm. and it was like because Wednesday shoots the boy, whatever his face is, Pugsley. Nope. No, her her love interest. Oh, okay. She shoots an apple off of his head. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it was my boyfriend at the time. <laughs> yeah, I think we were still dating at that point. Maybe, maybe not. No. I did not know your high school romance. It was that was too much for me. It was a it was we dated for a very long time. We might have still been dating at that point. Sophomore year? Actually, yeah, we I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Actually, it probably was after we. I Get think him we on the broke. Horn. I think we broke up. I think we broke up after freshman year. Actually, mm -hmm. nothing about. It. So I didn't like him anymore. And he said, "Get him good." Yeah, but I, I have, I have feelings. I think we we have already talked about him on this podcast, and how I feel about the fact that like he can't really sing, but <laughs> <laughs> he's very cute, very pretty. So he got like this role and like i don't know i maybe he's maybe he's gotten better at singing he also continued to smoke so maybe not yeah um not. but like he was like a bass and mm -hmm. then they were like you can sing tenor yeah mm -hmm. but he couldn't no and it was not good and they that reminds me of one of my high school boyfriends. when wednesday the girl who played wednesday was like one of the best singers in our class mm -hmm. and they and they they like were like yeah you can sing a duet with her and it like, I mean, he, yeah. okay, he, it's not that he can't sing at all. Mm -hmm. Like, he can That's sound just good. Not his register. He can sound good, but they put, yeah, they put him in the absolute worst posi position ever. Yeah. And, like, it's somebody he did not blend well with mm -hmm. and was on, like, clearly different levels yeah. with. And they did that over and over again. Mm -hmm. They did it over and over again with him. Like, well, they were, because they were like, he's cute and he can play guitar. So, mm -hmm. like, he's going to be the person who sings yeah. opposite the best girl singer in mm -hmm. our class. Like, like, Doesn't well, I don't know. What is, what is the. Yeah. It, it, was, well, it was, and people were like, he sounded bad. Mm -hmm. They were like, audience members were like, it was not good mm -hmm. because it wasn't good. No. They did Very dirty. similarly, they did that sort of thing with, like, people who were sopranos. They would make them low altos mm -hmm. because they wanted to give them a solo. Mm -hmm. Like, why pick yeah. this song, then, if you're trying to, like, yeah. give this person something? And don't even, like, pretend, like, because they would have auditions for it. Mm -hmm. But they knew who was going to get it. I'm like, why audition people, then? Just yeah. Literally just say, this is this person's song. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like yep. we actually had a girl my junior year who she said, like, to the director, she said, this is not in my range. Mm -hmm. I yeah, am she backed a, out. Yeah, she said, I am a high soprano. Yeah. I cannot do this. Yeah. yeah. And, like, she was singing, like, below the staff. Mm -hmm. That's that whole thing was below. And she's like... I can't do this. Yeah. And backed out. Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yep. Anyways, then, junior year of high school, we mm -hmm. did Game of Tiaras. I loved that one. Really? It was, like, not good, but it was... I, it blood was, was the only thing that I blood. liked. <laughs> I am going to talk about blood. <laughs> the best part of uh, of the musical, uh, musical play, our... Our graphic designer, mm -hmm. MJ, <laughs> was blood. Yes. And absolutely killed it. <laughs> he did such a good job. Yeah. I played Aurora, which was actually, like, princess number 
three or something mm-hmm. like that. Like and like we had to like choose a princess. And yeah. like yeah, and it was and it was based off of like who we had, you mm-hmm. know, like like they, they weren't gonna make me Pocahontas, you know. Yeah. Like our yeah. directors were conscientious of that. Yeah. But they were like you would be a great Aurora, and mm-hmm. our director really likes Aurora, and I know nothing about Aurora, so <gasps> there was, like, some, like, point there where I was like, oh. She's literally my favorite princess. Are you kidding me? Your favorite princess? Yeah. Not Mulan? Mulan is not a princess. <sighs> okay, Mulan is whatever. a warrior. Okay. And my queer slash gender journey awakening. Okay. Anyway... <laughs> We had, yeah, it was, so Game of Tiaras is, like, Game of Thrones with princesses, with Disney princesses, and, and it's, it's a lot in not a lot of time, and we had to, like, cut some of the scenes even, too, and so Mm -hmm. things, it just didn't make any fucking sense. It didn't make, it didn't make sense. There were so many plot holes to begin with, but then Mm -hmm. we made more plot holes by getting rid of some (laughs) of the scenes, and, like, and there were so many jokes that, like, we didn't understand Mm -hmm. until we performed it, and we were, like, oh, like, there's no way that the audience is getting those jokes. It took us so long to get it, like, yeah. Anyway, but... But MJ was the real star. Yes, but, yeah, and the... But it was meant to look, like, low budget. Mm -hmm. So they were, like... So there there was a character called Blood who would come out with red streamers and, Mm -hmm. like, party poppers and confetti and, Mm -hmm. like... Rose, rose petals. He had yeah. rose petals. He had so much stuff. Actually, mm-hmm. he gave me his bag of blood after. So I probably could find the bag and go. Please don't go do that right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, had all manner of mm-hmm. things to be like blood, blood, mm-hmm. <laughs> like just shoot them out. Ran yeah. up to people and like shot blood out of them mm-hmm. and like threw blood on them. Yeah, when people were fighting, yeah. Yeah. And there's and there's a scene at the end where everybody dies. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, just I, MJ got to have an absolute field day mm-hmm. <laughs> with all of all of the blood everywhere. Was any of that like scripted besides like blood comes out? Like I truly like I feel like he had the most freedom. Yeah. <laughs> for sure like it's i mean they like it's in the script that blood does this you know but i don't mm-hmm. think it i don't think it really went into detail and mj definitely got creative with it and did it differently every time because mm-hmm. because, <laughs> <laughs> because mj is a uh improv master mj is also a chaos monster i just want to say that <laughs> true MJ has always been a chaos monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Oh, God. Are you reminiscing? Or are you looking at Sexy Toad? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at Sexy Toad. <laughs> <laughs> sexy Toad. <laughs> and Chungus. And... He made a dating sim. Yes. <laughs> For a class project? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I don't know if he ever finished it. But, I don't think so. But, but yeah, threatened to make our media productions teacher, who is one of our dire- one of our play directors. Yeah, play it. Yeah, play it. He's <laughs> like, you're gonna have to play it through. <laughs> God, <laughs> I fucking love it. He really, he really just walked into a room and said, "How can I make everyone uncomfortable?" But mm-hmm. in the best way. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I should hang out with MJ more often. I know. I've been I really missing. Him. I've been really missing all of our friends recently. Yeah. Yeah. The siblings <laughs> sat there too because they're all uh-huh. just fucking funny. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I should go hang out with their mom. Yeah. She still lives in town. <laughs> you know what? I still have never just, like, walked into their house and started petting their dog. I really... I should do it. I really want to, like, see what the reaction would be. Did you know the little one died? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. She was getting old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
but the one that you're talking about is yes. still there. I have one of their dogs we called my boyfriend because mm-hmm. he was very like my freshman boyfriend. And, and clingy and, as fuck. And he would lay down on me and like he was he was very like he was, he's very energetic. Very energetic dog. He's a lab who mm-hmm. was never trained. Yeah. So he's and he's like cooped up a lot of times so like every time that there's like people he's like oh my god and he's like yeah he's he's got so much energy he's and so much weight super tall too yeah that's part like, of the reason why he's, he's so locked gangly. up because yeah. everyone comes in and like they have an open staircase so <laughs> like this dog is gonna shove me down the stairs yeah. and won't even give a shit like it'll yeah. just follow me <laughs> he's like a tornado yes but but like he would climb on to me mm-hmm. and then he would calm down mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> Be like, it's okay now. I have my uh, body pillow. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, so yeah. So, we're, so our friends were like, yeah, he's your boyfriend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So we had game of tiaras, and then, oh my god, I I want to also say, MJ during one of the death scenes, during one of the performances, licked one of the leads. Feet. <laughs> and she had to lay on the stage and go, what is happening? Why is my foot wet? And try not to react because she was dead. <laughs> but uh, honestly, actually, he might have put her toe in his mouth. <laughs> like, it was... <laughs> Truly, just how can I make anyone uncomfortable right now? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think he only got to do it once because she said, please don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> she was like, um, no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but waited until a performance to do it so that she couldn't say anything. Yeah. Because if it was a practice, she could have just gone, no. Yep. <laughs> Like that's a that's a line. That's a line we're not gonna cross. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah. now she knows she's not into that, so <laughs> Okay. <laughs> then we did Music Man, mm-hmm. uh, my junior year. And that one that one was also it was good. It was not, it can't it's it's the music man. Yeah, it's music man. I remember mm-hmm. I was one of the ladies and I I got to have children. We brought in middle schoolers to be our children. <gasps> that was fun. It. it was fun. It was fun. What was that one? When I was in like elementary school, they did like the princess and the pea or something. Oh, okay. And oh, yes. Had... Once upon a mattress. Yes. yes. They did it again. They did it again. Like, did two they bring years kids in? I, done. I don't think so. Because it was like a joint one. They had like, That's they literally cool. had auditions at the middle school. That's cool. Yeah. It was weird. Mm-hmm. I mean, that would have been that would have been so cool. You know, you mm-hmm. got to have like an extra musical that you yeah. normal you know is normally barred to you. That's mm-hmm. cool. That's cool. Yeah, you're definitely not getting a main character role, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I yeah got to have children and a husband, and it was cool. Mm-hmm. And like the boy who played my husband, we dated in middle school too, but, um, Mm -hmm. but like he was a very good dancer. So there was like a partner dance and we got to like lead it. And that was the one time I would ever get to do that because I'm not a very good dancer. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) She knows her strengths. I don't think I'm that bad, but like everybody's like meh when they watch, you know, they, they just would rather have somebody else do it. Yeah. Well, you're, you're not like the front row center person yeah neither am i anyway oh i also second riser yes i also did actually get to do a backbend in this one because my my director still wanted a backbend in her and looked at you and said "Uh uh-huh do it but now i could actually learn how to do a backbend look at you so i did an actual real backbend during the grecian urn scene Mm. when we made our final big Grecian urn. Mm-hmm. I got to be the front of it and do a back bend. And my friend who had gotten me into gymnastics, mm-hmm. I was, it was like during the performance, I did a back bend. And that was when I found her in the crowd, was during Aww. my back bend. Yeah. That's and cute. she went, and, and she was like, oh my God, you did a back bend. Yeah. It was, That's cute. It was, yeah, it was Love great. That. Yeah. Then, 
senior year of high school. We're getting to the end of this <laughs> two hour long recording. <laughs> I knew this time? wasn't going to be. Are good. we gonna have time for my segment? <laughs> I don't know. I I knew this. Was, I I knew I should have split this up. <laughs> it's okay. Keep going. <laughs> we'll just knock it all out. Yeah. Okay. The importance of being earnest. Yes. Uh, I, we that actually, one I really did like. Yeah. It was. A, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's a good play, and like, yeah. and we read it in AP Lit. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we had already like read it and stuff and our our english teacher was the director, director. so mm-hmm. she was like is our school you know is this something that like our school would could do mm-hmm. you know would people understand it and stuff like that and eventually we decided yeah let's do it yeah and they were like these parts are very big mm-hmm. we auditioned in may mm-hmm. for the lead roles yeah. so that we could get our scripts and practice them throughout the summer did not help me i still didn't you know my lines also procrastinated like fuck yes <laughs> uh, <laughs> but i played gwendolyn mm-hmm. and we actually had we actually also had uh, understudies mm-hmm. immediately in you know they also auditioned with us mm-hmm. they chose to understudies for us as well mm-hmm. um and we had some of the understudies back out so i think there were only like a, actually i don't know it might have been it might have been only my understudy by the mm-hmm. end unless there was like one other one i don't yeah. know i feel like it was a, it was only my understudy by the end but it was good my understudy was mj <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> But yeah, I I did experience some bullying in that play because the boy who played Ernest mm-hmm. was an asshole. Yeah. A complete and total asshole. Mm-hmm. He thought he was better than everyone else. So smart. And he so, had the like, hottest shit ever. Uh-huh. He was a transfer student. Yeah. From like... A really small town in our mm-hmm. county. <laughs> or the next county over, I don't remember. Yeah. So literally from the smallest town. Yeah, from the smallest town. Mm-hmm. But he was like, yeah, I, I like took all these AP classes or whatever. And yeah, he was like, I'm so much better. I'm such a good actor and whatever else. Yeah. I think that's my favorite thing because a lot of like small towns, they don't even have the option to do like community college classes for their ap Uh uh-huh so yeah they had like funky stuff yeah i'm like is this really like it was just you in the class Mm -hmm. yeah but he was like he was like i'm so much better than all of you Mm -hmm. uh and he was an asshole but there Mm -hmm. was like a point like okay so he he had taken me off stage you know or like when we exited you Mm -hmm. know he'd like there was one point when he was like, can you wipe that shit off your lips before we, you know, because we had to kiss. But we were doing a stage kiss where you have to put, put your, your thumbs, thumbs over there. Like, what? Yeah. Your thumb is wet? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but. Um, Get over yourself. But yeah, because I have, I wore was wearing Vaseline for my health condition. Yeah, she has a skin condition. <laughs> so, and no. No, I wasn't going to stand on stage for hours with my lips burning no Mm -hmm. thank you yeah (laughs) like i had to be on stage for a very long time yeah yeah it would have been hell if Um, you had punched him in the face i would have totally backed you up yeah and my director did make me wear lipstick by the end uh, for the performances but Mm -hmm. but lipstick does help to a degree until he wanted you to take it off during practice yes yes yeah Correct. What anyway, a loser. He also uh, like brought me off one time and said, "Learn your fucking lines," because I was still struggling to learn my lines. I was also doing cross country. Yeah. So that's the thing. Like, and yeah. So yeah. And then and you really should have punched him in the face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> yeah. He sucked. But yeah. So the MJ also played Gwendolyn and mm-hmm. also did a great job. We were very mm-hmm. different Gwendolyns. Mm-hmm. Very different. Yeah. <laughs> But MJ knew his lines. Mm-hmm. I did not. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get them by the end. Yeah. But the, and MJ got a show. Mm-hmm. One of our shows he, he did. Yeah. There was also a scene. <laughs> this is a fun highlight where me and the other girl 
the other female character in the play, mm-hmm. it we like go into the house and we like cry about the fact that like the men have been lying to us uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> about who they are because they both told us that they were earnest. That's, mm-hmm. whole, that's the play. That's not the whole play, but <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a, bit, a pretty big premise. <laughs> yeah. So, like, there's a point where we go into the house and they're out in the garden and we're, like, crying. And so, like, we're crying. And there was one point, one of the performances, we hit heads while we were in this, like, crying. Oh, no. And, like, it was very loud. And we didn't, like, to the point where, like, we had, like, audience members who were, like, were you wearing microphones? Mm-hmm. Like, and picked up on both your microphones. We are like, we were not wearing microphones. <gasps> we did not wear microphones for oh that play. Oh, my God. We had, like, there were, like, four microphones, but that was it. And, like, <laughs> he was, like, it sounded like two walnuts hitting together. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so that was fun. And then. We did. We tried to do Oklahoma in uh, the spring, but COVID. Oh, <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> yeah. So we learned. We we like were almost done learning the Oklahoma. Yeah. yeah. That song. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Then nothing. And then uh, extended spring break nothing. turned into get your shit, go hide in your house. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm in a play called Death by Chocolate, and I'm playing Dyslexia, the secretary, and it's very fun. I'm she excited is... to see your next show. Oh, you got tickets? I have to buy them. Oh, is okay. it sold out? You probably should look and make sure okay. you get tickets. Grandma's coming on Sunday. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so... Yeah, there's there's some one. there's some uh, she I feel like this character is very similar to me. There's some like sarcastic lines and stuff like that and stuff. So it's very like easy for me to play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cuz I'm a sarcastic family. Yeah. But my yeah. God. So that's my acting career and I didn't talk about my films. So we can talk about film acting career yes, at some please. point. Yes, please. Yes, please. Cuz that's mm-hmm. a whole other thing though cuz you have like directing Yeah experience Mm -hmm. and such yeah hey yes do you want to talk about wisconsin celebrities (laughs) you mean me again oh my god (laughs) get off your high horse you did that one i did actually (laughs) i was talking to sadell and i was like yeah so for my like little thing at the end i want to do wisconsin celebrities and she was like Oh my god, I'm talking about my acting career. <laughs> it just fits so well. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I have I have a huge list because of course, like there's a lot of people who are just from the state of Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go over I th- think I have I have four people. Okay. And they're not all actors. Okay. So the first one is in honor of the fact that I watched Poor Things ah, yes. on Hulu. <laughs> Where else to start? Yes. Yeah. And I, I just want to say... goes, actors in Wisconsin. Which one are you talking about? Mark Ruffalo? No. Oh, we're not talking about Mark Ruffalo. We are okay. not. Actually, he was a special note. He's He is from Kenosha. Uh-huh. But... Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe is also from Wisconsin? Yes, he's That's from Appleton. Bad, yeah. Yeah, so he was born William Defoe uh-huh. on June 22nd, 1955. Mm-hmm. And he grew up with five sisters who basically raised him because his parents were in the medical prof- profession. I want to say his dad was a doctor and his mom was a nurse. And they, like, you know, were super fucking busy. <laughs> mm-hmm. So he basically was raised by his sisters. He graduated from Appleton East, so... I don't know if that is still a thing. I really should have looked that up. But any other Probably. famous alumni or whatever. I'm talking about our listeners who are very famous. Oh. If they went okay. to Appleton East. Yes. Shout out Appleton East. Yes. And then studied drama at UW-Milwaukee for wow. a year and a half. 
And this is very related to one of the you? other people I'm talking. <laughs> I did not study drama, but I did study at UW Milwaukee. But you did. <laughs> but you did go to school in Appleton and at UW Milwaukee. Actually, to be honest, yeah, I did. That's kind of creepy. Okay. Yeah. Well, his best known credits are Platoon, which is a movie that came out in 1986. That was his like breakout role. He got nominated for Best Supporting Actor. For the Academy Award. Mm-hmm. And then my wife would kill me if I didn't say this, but he played Green Goblin in uh, the 2002 Spi- Spider-Man with yes. Tobey Maguire. Anecdote. Yeah. When I think about surround sound, mm-hmm. I think about Green Goblin. Really? Because I feel like the first time I noticed that we had mm-hmm. surround sound... <laughs> <laughs> was when we were we watching Spider Man two, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was like, "What was that?" <laughs> yeah, I know, and it's coming from behind you, and you're like, "Hello." Yeah, the the laughing from behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he also, I'm gonna circle back to Poor Things. He played God in 2023's Poor Things, mm-hmm. alongside Emma Stone and Mark Ruffalo. And he earned Golden Globe noms and SAG noms. So, very, very nice. God is short for Godwin. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that took me a little bit while I was watching it. I was like, does he think he's God? No, that's, like, a nickname. But it also... Yes. Yeah. Um, (laughs) yeah, The answer is kind of. Yeah, there's also a metaphor there. Yes, and. Yeah. (laughs) So, a little exciting news here. Uh He... Is announced as a cast member for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <gasps> oh. mm-hmm. At least what it says is he's playing Wolf Jackson, who is a B-movie action star ghost. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about that because I know he'll just, he'll do great. And then I did add right here, Mark Ruffalo, special nod from Kenosha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Mark Ruffalo, he is my one and only true love. <laughs> I was so in love with him in middle school. It was ridiculous. Really? Yes. Well, wow. 13 going on 30? <laughs> Come on. Okay, so the next one might surprise you, but Zack Schneider, do you know who that is? Mm-hmm. Who is he? Don't make me answer. <laughs> <laughs> you said, mm-hmm. I've heard of him. <laughs> so he was born in March. He was born in Green Bay, but he grew up in Connecticut. I'm is still going to include him. A director? Correct. He's a director, yeah. Yes, he okay. is. So he is best known for the Schneider Cut of Justice League. Yes. Which okay. was released in 2021. Basically, he had some family stuff come up. He was the original director of Justice League that ended up coming out in 2017. Yes. But he had to drop out in post. Uh-huh. So the movie that was made mm-hmm. was not necessarily what he would have done. So during COVID, <laughs> he went over it and then released the Schneider Cut, which is super, super long. Mm-hmm. But his other works that he's directed are The 300, Watchmen. Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Gahul. Really? Yeah. I know. I I saw that and I was like, Sidel needs to know. Yeah. So yeah, he was the director of your like favorite movie. Yeah. Um, well, one of my favorite movies from when, my childhood. Yes. There were there were, were obsessed. There were movies I watched over and over again. Mm-hmm. I they they include the Aristocats, Racing Stripes, Correct. <laughs> Spirit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guardians of Kabul. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there's some other ones. But those are the four that popped into my head. So Yeah. yeah. So gu- Guardians of Kahul and I would like pretend to be the characters. Yes. Uh, it was yeah. absolutely wonderful. <laughs> and I yeah, I got Guardians of Kahul for Christmas and then I fell in love with it. And then I found the first trilogy, mm-hmm. which is what the movie is based, is based off of. Mm-hmm. I found that on like a scholastic Oh, the book catalog catalog. things? Yeah. Yeah. Convinced Mm -hmm. mom to buy me those, and they were, like, the only books that I actually read from one of those Mm -hmm. catalogs. I know. We have so many books in the basement that I'm like, (laughs) oh, yeah, I got this from a Scholastic catalog. Yep. Never opened it. Never read it. (laughs) Yeah. So I actually read those, and then and now I've been finishing the series because there's 18 books in the Mm -hmm. series, and then extra. The, the three extra books after that um but i i have 
in my adulthood bought all of the Guardians of Gahu books. And mm-hmm. then also I've I have I also plan to get all the spin-offs. I have the Wolves of the Beyond right now, but mm-hmm. I don't have the other two yet. Yeah. So yeah. a very big love of mine. Yes. So and I was convinced that they were British. The owls were British in the books. So I would read them. Because oh. of the the like voices in the yeah. in the movie. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's like they are British. Mm-hmm. And these are the correct voices. Yes. Thank you. And then I, I also have to note, though, Zack Schneider has directed several DC Comics movies. Also Owl City, too, in that <laughs> movie. Also, I thought... I, I shouldn't have brought it Owl up. Owl City this should have been got, my last one. <laughs> got Owl City a DVD, and yeah. It's become a problem. Yes. So he also did more DC? Yes, he did. I'm pretty sure he did, like... I'm not going to – some one of the Superman movies. I okay. am not going to guess. Okay. Yes. I don't want to offend people. The next one is also someone who was born in Wisconsin but grew up elsewhere. Okay. So this is Stacey Abrams. Do you know who this is? No, not off the top You of probably head. wouldn't. She was born in Madison December 9th of 1973. She is a politician. Okay. So she grew up in Mississippi and then served as the minority leader of the Georgia House of Representatives from 2011 to 2017. And then she ran for governor of Georgia in 2018 and won the Democratic nomination, which made her the first black woman in the U.S. to be a major party's nominee for governor. So that's fucking phenomenal. Mm Mm-hmm. And that's why I included her on this list, even though she was like born in Madison and then <laughs> and then never grew up in, 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 in Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, but then after that election, there was a lot of like election issues, especially civil rights issues. There was a lot of votes not being counted and being negated by the opposite side. So that was a whole messy thing. I haven't looked into it too much, so I don't know, like what kind of quote-unquote fraud was happening. But she lost to her Republican opponent and then announced in her um, campaign ending speech she didn't do a concession speech because, like, she was like, there's something happening here. Mm -hmm. So I'm not conceding to this, but I am saying, like, my campaign is over. But she created... Well, co-created the Fair Action Act, Fair oh, okay. Fight Action, mm-hmm. which is a voting rights nonprofit org. So it's to help people, you know, know their voting rights and get mm-hmm. registered to vote and everything. So nice. that's really important. Yeah. And our final celebrity uh-huh. is Trixie Mattel. Oh, I love her. I will be using she/her pronouns for this, and I will not be referring to her like boy self even though i know like she's also like i'm talking about the character trixie mostly Mm -hmm. like and how she was created i'm not talking about brian (laughs) (laughs) trixie was born brian michael fergus on august 23rd of 1989 in milwaukee was raised in silver click Cliff, Wisconsin. And for those of you who don't know, Trixie is Ojibwe and was raised by an abusive stepfather who would call her Trixie as an insult for being too feminine. Oh. So she kind of like reclaimed that Mm -hmm. and yeah, made it her whole no career. <laughs> yes. And then at age 15, she moved in with her grandparents and her grandfather taught her how to play guitar because he was a country musician. So Trixie competed on season seven of RuPaul's Dry Grace and finished in sixth place and then later won the third season of RuPaul's Dry Grace All-Stars. But I mention that she learned guitar from her grandfather because she has four albums released The first one is Two Birds. The second one is One Stone. Then Barbara, which Barbara is one of my favorites. I freaking love it. And then the most recent one, which came out in 2022, is the Blonde and Pink albums. 
So I just got to say, I love me some Trixie music, like especially the ones that are like gay country. Mm -hmm. Love it. I haven't listened to the Blonde and Pink albums, but yeah. Nice. She is so talented, but she also graduated from UW-Milwaukee. Oh, okay. So that's, I was like, oh yeah, somebody else graduated from UW-Milwaukee. And I was like, yeah, it's Trixie. And I think she had a performing arts bachelor. So pretty similar to Willem Dafoe, but you know. Yeah. Actually, she got her degree. (laughs) I do not have an acting degree. You did take an acting class. I took an acting class for (laughs) non-majors. Yes. I did get an A though. And I did get to use a Southern accent. Which was fun. Nice. I don't remember what the scene was that we had to do for our final project, though. I don't know what it's from. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to try to mention it, but I don't know. Yeah, this was fun. Yeah. It's good talking to you again. Yeah, I know. We truly, you guys, we haven't sat down like this in forever. Yeah. Forever. I do miss it. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. But now you get to do the fun part. Of editing. Yes. I also have one before this that I haven't edited yet either. So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure I will be bringing back the Wisconsin celebrities thing. We're going to be talking about your film career. Film career. Yeah. And I think next next time is me. Next leading. time is you taking so, us in a different direction. Uh, completely different, I'm sure. Welcome to our ADHD funhouse. Yes. <laughs> well, but that's the premise of our show. Yes. We go yeah. wherever we feel like. Yeah. We're just siblings and we're recording we're our sibling somewhere. talks. That's it. This is an audio memoir. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Audio memoir. And that's why my wife is our number one listener. Yes. Shout out to my wife, Alex. <laughs> and our mom. Yes. <laughs> yes, who listens while she walks on the treadmill. Yes. <laughs> Which is probably why she hasn't really done much on the treadmill lately, because we stopped releasing. Mom found other podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I am proud of you for that, because you got her to, like, I did open up her world a little bit. Yep. Still hasn't listened to Wine and Crime, though, because, oh well, I, she, I haven't listened to Wine and Crime. She feels like it, it's not for her. It's also. It's too vulgar for her. Oh, that's fair. They have long episodes. They are long. Really long. That's the thing that's stopping me because Mm -hmm. I have the attention span of a pea. Yeah. So. I do like my two hour long podcasts. Yeah. And sometimes that bites me in the butt when I get really behind and I go, I'm like. You have a day and a half worth of audio you need to listen to. I make playlists (laughs) Mm -hmm. of my podcasts. Yes. Oh my God. I remember Um, this. So that I can listen to the most recent ones and in order and I don't miss like things. And it was great for working. When you had a factory job. Yeah, a factory job. Because I, because we weren't allowed to like touch our phones and you're playing Mm -hmm. on our phones. So I needed them all queued up. Yeah. And when I needed nine hours Mm -hmm. of podcasts to listen to, it was perfect. But yeah, now now though I will make them and like I'll get behind because I won't listen to podcasts for like a day or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like or in the summer I work for like a week straight. Yeah. I don't have I have there's like, no free two time. hours to sleep. Yeah. There's no yeah, there's mm-hmm. no free time. And I work as a stagehand, so I mean there's mm-hmm. there's music happening there's entertainment happening all day why would i need to listen to podcasts yes also? yeah but when that happens i got like three weeks behind mm-hmm. <laughs> last summer mm-hmm. and my playlists mm-hmm. were each like 40 hours oh long. my god <laughs> yeah and now i'm behind i'm like a week behind they're mm-hmm. like 12 hours long yeah i have i have a 12 hour long playlist i'm trying mm-hmm. to eat through yeah Yikes. Well, add this one to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm-hmm. I will not be listening to this podcast for a third time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I do I do follow the podcast that I edit mm-hmm. so that I can see when they go live on mm-hmm. Spotify and I can go, 
it actually worked. Yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise, nice. <laughs> I've done it. I've had things, I've had it be messed up before mm-hmm. and like had like my, yeah, my client be like, our episode did not upload, did not release, mm-hmm. you know, or like our episode, I released it on the wrong podcast one, <gasps> podcast <laughs> feed. Yeah. That wasn't great, but I Did you fixed. realize it right away or how long was it up? It was up, it was up for like probably like three hours. Oh, okay. But. I did was not the person that found it. <laughs> yeah. My client mm-hmm. found it. Yeah. And yeah. It was a, I was it was during school. So actually oh. my my teacher told me about it because it's his husband's podcast. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I was Yeah, you know them. Yeah. yeah. I didn't I don't yeah, I didn't really know like that. But I had to run home and fix it. Yeah. After my class was done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're like shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Anyway. Well, we'll see you all next. Well, actually, we'll probably do it every other week, but you probably already know that because this is the third one. Honestly, in this batch. If there's a every other week for the next month, mm-hmm. you're welcome. <laughs> I can promise you one month of podcast episodes every other week. Yes. <laughs> as long as you edit them properly. <laughs> all right. See you all next time. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to Cheese, a Healthy Fruit. Our cover art is by MJ Hennessy. Our theme song is by Melina Marchese. You can find her at melinamarchese.com. Follow the podcast on Instagram at cheese underscore a healthy fruit, jade at jade powers with an extra S, and Sidel at Sidel Powers, spelled C-Y-D-E-L. If you have any questions or want to submit a story from your childhood, email us at cheeseahealthyfruit at gmail.com. Sources can be found in the show notes. You can find Cheese, a Healthy Fruit, wherever you get your podcasts and on YouTube. Subscribe to Cheese, a Healthy Fruit, and leave us a five-star review on your favorite podcasting app. See you next time. Bye-bye.